It's the girls that are naked that are the ones that are saying, like, why are you staring at me? You're damn near naked and you're asking me why I'm staring at you. It's because your half of your azuka is outside. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Raise On It, Sha. Second episode. It's so beautiful to see you guys here because I can't see you guys literally, but I can feel you guys. I can feel your energy, and I really appreciate it. I love it. Thank you. Welcome back. Okay. And today, for the first bit of the show, I want to talk about women, females, ladies, shorties. You know, I love women, first of all, okay? Women are so complicated, you know? Because, like, it's so weird being a guy because you have this... You go through your life, the way you think about women in general, like whoever you're going to marry, whoever you're dating, whoever you're around as a, a female, the way you think about them, you have to understand that it's been affected, it's been influenced by your relationship with your mother. Like, that's just how it is. Do you get me? Like, the way you are... I, I, Handle male, alpha male situations will show a lot about your relationship with your dad, but the way you deal with women in general, right, would say if your um, mother is, like, mean or, like, she's, like, really, like, no emotions, she doesn't, she's not available for emotions, she's just this very straightforward, maybe a little bit toxic person, you know, it will affect how you relate with other females in the future. You know, that's just how it is, you know. Um, that's why, uh, like, parents play a huge role in the life of a child. Parents play a huge role in the life of a child, you know, honestly. Because that's why, like, some girls, they say, oh, she has daddy issues. You know, maybe some girls that get, like, loose as a, as a term. You know, and some guys that get loose as well as a term, you know, be dealing with things that they went through as children. And most of the, most of the time, you spend uh, your time with your children, with, with your uh, parents, with your family at home as a child. So your relationship with your parents really uh, influences who you become, you know. So you have that going on. You have the whole relationship with your mother. Because I'm thinking about all the females in my life. Because I truly do love women, you know, I do. Um, my mother is there, you know, we have a good good relationship, you know, complicated, but good relationship, I guess, you know. And um, my sisters, I love them, you know, that we are good, we are bad to each other, you know. And then the women that I've dated, I have noticed traits that were instilled in me as children in the women that I've dated. You know, um, it's interesting. People always ask me, ah, when are you getting married? When are you getting married? It's like, I'm 32 years old. I'm, I don't think I'm getting married in the next two years. You know, so I think from three years from now, yeah, like if it happens, if I find the right one by the grace of God, please God, I find the right one. Of course, I would love to. Honestly, like I love companionship. I love having a teammate that you're, that's going to ride for you, that you're going to ride for as well. You know, I love that. I love the idea of forever together. Like I love that, you know? So obviously if I could find one lucky girl that uh, will steal my heart. <laughs> lucky girls, man. Lucky girls are underrated though. Ah, lucky girls fine though. And people always say that you can't find wife in Lekki. Why do you say that? You, first of all, you can find wife anywhere. Okay, because love knows no geography. Love knows no geography. No postcode, no area code, no country code, no color. Love knows no geography. You can find love in Lekki. I found love in Lekki. It lasted seven months, but it was still love for seven months. <laughs> You know, shout out to you. I don't say your name if I put it on blast. <laughs> I met her. I met her. Uh, it was love for me. You know, I met her at the shower place. 
you know, late at night. So, you know, whoever is buying shawarma by 1 a.m., <laughs> whoever is buying shawarma by 1 a.m. is late, faded. Do you understand? Like, it's like you've had a few shots, you've drank a, a bit, you know, you, ah, you get hungry, ah, let's go buy shawarma. That's it. Or buying suya by that time. That day happened to be shawarma. And uh, she walked up to me and she was like, hey, I've seen you on TV. Uh, you act movies. I want your number. I was like, whoa. Because I, I was like in the car waiting for my shawarma to be done, like listening to music. And she came, knocked on the door, on the uh, window. And I wind down and she was like, yeah, uh, I see your movies. You're Ray and Morty. I was like, yeah. And she's like, yeah, I want your number. And I don't want your second line. I want your main line. Because she could see my two phones. One is an iPhone. One is Android. And she was like, she doesn't want the second phone. She wants the main line. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> this girl. And she's so fine. Like, she's so beautiful. Shout out to you. I wish I could say your name, man. Because you deserve this shout out, man. But I don't want to put your stuff on blast. Do you get me? But yeah, that was a trip for me. That was like, yo, what? This girl is the kind of girl that I would walk up to to ask for her number. And she's asking for my number. And we were in lost slash love for about seven months. And it was, was it up to seven? I don't think it was up to seven months. So I think I'm even adding this thing. It was probably like five months, you know? It was a crazy, amazing five months. You know those kind of people that, once you're done being intimates, I use intimates in place of another word. Okay, but once you're done, this is the guy, this is the girl. Intimates, um, you, you find that you don't have anything to talk about. Like that you guys don't really have a lot in common. Like sh your mentalities are different. You know, that you are only attracted to each other physically, not intellectually, not emotionally, not just physically, you know? And those kind of relationships are sh shallow. I've had my fair share of those relationships. I won't even lie. I've had my fair share of just being in, in it for the, you know, the physicality, how beautiful she is, how curvy her waist is, you know, how whatever, whatever is, you know? So it's like, how do I put this? You spend 100% of, the 100% of the time you spend with her, you are enjoying like 15% of that time. Because it's 15% of the time that people have sex. Because, but I won't even lie. When it was me and that girl, we probably had sex like 70% of the time that we saw each other. We never sought to go to the movies or anything. You know, it was always like, <clears throat> hey, hi, how you doing? Hi, I'm good. Are you home? Yeah, okay. She comes over. Hey, hey. <laughs> so nothing else. Nothing else. No conversation. After the... <laughs> <sighs> okay, uh, okay, I'll see you later. Okay, all right, bye. <laughs> but that was love. Because that was what I needed, and that's what she needed at that moment in time. We didn't need extra talk. We didn't need extra relationship obligations. We just wanted to knock and release tension and energy. Did you get me? So women... For me personally, it's like you can't make a top three in this world without having women in it as a man. For me personally, you know, I can't make a top three things you can't live without. Like, like you can't live without. I can't live without a woman. I don't even lie. Honestly. Like, oh my God, no, that would be difficult. That would be very difficult. What are the top three things I can't live without? women, music, and money. Because anybody, nobody can live without money. Like, if you don't have money, who will say like this? If Safa do you, you don't get money. If he die, <laughs> Safa pick you. You don't get food to chop. You don't get water to drink. You don't get, ah. Safa pick you. If you go, that use that Safa way they do you. One go rob person, and you don't get anything. You never chop. Person pick you. Now, so you go, you go. And that Safa kill you. Ah, so it's a perfect cue. So I would say women, no, I can't put women first. It's called, it's just, that's just the rules, okay? That's not like, that's no disrespect. I'm always like, hey, women first, girl, ladies first, when a, a woman is passing through the door and I'm about to pass through the door, okay? But this is life. 
Okay, I'm talking about so three things I can't live without. If I had money and I didn't have a girl for a year, I'll still be alive. If I didn't have money and I had just a girl that I could have intimate relationships, intimate relations with, and I didn't have money, I couldn't eat, I couldn't drink, I couldn't, I'll die. So I'll say money first, okay? I said all that to say money first. Um, women and music, uh, one, two A and two B. Yeah, that's how I'll do it. So today's episode is woman centric. I'm paying homage to the ones that have brought me into this world, to the ones that had made me feel so much pleasure, to the ones that have served me premium breakfast where I cry for months. That was back then. Shout out to you, Uju. Uju, I'm going to get there. Uju. Anyways. I'm going to compose myself. <laughs> but yeah, shout out to women in general. Okay, so some of the clips that I'll be reacting to today um, are about women. You know, we have a little bit of sports, women's sports. We have a little bit of uh, uh, angles, you know, women. Uh, if you see, one of my friends is on Tinder. One of my guy friends is on Tinder, to, you know, to pick up chicks or to find relationships with chicks. Let me put it that way. <laughs> to find uh, ladies that he could have relations or relationships with, you know? Um, so he told me one thing. He said that. He showed me the picture of the girl. I was like, oh, this girl is beautiful. Why are you complaining? He was like, yo, she does not look like this. I was like, so did she, like, edit this video? He was like, yes, but that's not even it. That, like, the angle, there's, like, an angle she will stay. <laughs> there's an angle she will stay. She will look very lean and beautiful, but she has to stay in that angle. Because if you just move one the angle degree to the left or to the right, one inch, everything changes. That's those people that on their page, they all their pictures with different clothes, so it's the same pose. <laughs> oh my God. Somebody said that. Uh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I love women. That's why I get to say this, okay? I actually do love you, you, you ladies. Um, yeah, somebody said that some girls that don't have big butts, big behinds, that they um, st <laughs> that they stand like they want to take a corner kick in pictures, just so their behind will protrude more. <laughs> like they want to take corner kick. <laughs> you know how Becca used to stand. <laughs> Oh my God, this is ridiculous, man. <laughs> but yo, I love women. Hey, hey, I love women, man. Yo, I have to say this, eh, cause randomly, eh, I'm crushing on a lady, and she's um, she's with Odogu right now, you know. Uh, the best, mm -mm, they are Kingston. So we buy a. Uh, Smoothie for Jada Kingdom, because where my money is, I can't buy Birkin. Now, smoothie, I feel buy right now. Do you get me? But I wouldn't even, because, you know, my bro is with, you know, I call him my bro like I know him. But it's all good. Shout out to Jada Kingdom. That's a random shout out, because I'm talking about women. Jada Kingdom is shaped like a vase. Small top, big bottom. Bonaboy has great taste. Odogu. From America to London. <laughs> okay, so, you know, uh, there are two ways you can go about it. I'm talking to my ladies. You know, ladies know that majority of men find big butts, big behinds attractive. So you could either go the gym way or the doctor way. Yeah, anyways, a way. But, <laughs> but, <laughs> but I know a girl... She goes to University of Lagos. Yeah, last year, her butt was like, like a normal like female behind. You know, it wasn't like, you know. But she was doing squats and she, she like, it's not like all these kind of BBL squats that after they do the BBL, they'll take pictures in shorts and be like, hey, I was working out. That's why my butt is like 17 times bigger. No, that's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about like she was literally doing squats every, like, she was posting videos of her doing squats all the time. 
like consistently for a year. And now she looks like thick. That thing works. Like you have to be predisposed to that kind of body. Like your muscle has to be able to accept that formation, I guess. But if you are if you have that kind of body, if you're lean or whatever, yo, that thing works for real. So you don't actually always have to go under the knife. You know, you can just, you know, go to the gym, you know? But uh, if you go under the knife, I don't have anything against it. You know, do you, baby? Do you? Shout out, yeah, that kingdom. But this first video I'm going to watch and react to. Yeah. She one of those that goes to the gym. She probably needs to go to the doctor if she wants her own to be bigger. Cause <laughs> no, no, no. But, I, you know, stick at it. Stick at it. It's going to grow. It's going to grow. Don't worry. Okay, so this first one I'm going to watch is about, uh, I don't know what it's about, actually. Could you play it? Hi guys, come watch me do absolutely fuck all in front of the camera, pretending to spread inspiration and positivity, even though I know you only care about seeing my dump truck. <laughs> Typically, I'd put an audio over this video and write a huge caption about no matter the shape or size of your more. body, you are beautiful. When the real message I want to get across is how big my ass looks in these shorts and for you to give me the likes and comments I need in order to feel validated. In my next post, I will then talk about how it's not nice to be objectified as a woman, even though I wear these tiny shorts. Please pause, 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 pause. Thank you so much. Thank you. Somebody said it's... Jesus Christ, it's the girls that are naked that are the ones that are saying, like, why are you staring at me? Like, how can you, how can you, how can you? I'm lost. You're damn near naked and you're asking me why I'm staring at you. What kind of, what, are, are you okay? Are you okay? How can you be damn near naked and you're asking me, hey, Oh, that guy is looking at me. Why is he looking at me? Oh, my God. It's because your half of your azuka is outside. You feel me? Your nyash is, is gnashing right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm just saying, like, and those, those are the ones that they'll post, like, pictures on IG and, um, like, sexy pictures. I'm not complaining. I love it. But don't react in a negative way if somebody says something, like, edgy. You know, somebody, you might put something in a lingerie, like talking about if God is for you, nobody can be against you. You're in a lingerie. And somebody just comments, oh my God, your backside is amazing. <sighs> With like saliva smiley. You'd be like, oh my God, that smiley is offensive. This is a post about the most high. Like, girl, what are you talking about? Ah. Oh, no, 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 These are the ones that drive me up a wall, man. They're so annoying. Like, how can you be so attractive and annoying at the same time? I've had my fair share of women that were so attractive, but so annoying at the same time. But they are so attractive that the annoyance level is not going to affect you wanting to be around her so you can knock. You understand me? Yeah, so they are annoying, but they are more attractive than they are annoying. So this lady is talking about those people that post on IG, thirst trapping, talking about, oh, buy Slim Tea, or shout out to all my people that sell Slim Tea, or shout out to all of you. I, I love all of you. You know, you, know who, you, you know who you are, Mrs. Slim Tea. Shout out to you. I like you. I like you. I like you. You're very beautiful. Your BBL is so real that you sell Slim Tea and Nyash Tea, like go your Nyash Tea. I don't know how people buy Goyo and Nyash tea, <laughs> but if they buy, make your money, my girl. Make your money on God, on Jesus' daddy. Uh, okay, so, um, yeah, let's go back to this video. <laughs> Typically, I'd put an audio over this video and write a huge caption about no matter the shape and size of your body, you are beautiful. When the real message I want to get across is how big my ass looks in these shorts and for you to give me the likes and comments Damn, I need in order to feel good. validated. In my next post, I will then talk about how it's not nice to be objectified as a woman, even though I wear these <laughs> tiny shorts that barely cover my fart box. See you next time. Ciao. This woman is funny. She sounds British. She sounds British. But that room looked like an American room. You can tell, like, a country, like, sometimes through the room, literally. You know, her room looked American, but her voice sounds British. And she's tanned. So she's in a place, she's probably in Miami or something. Miami or Los Angeles. 
I, I'm like, I like, I, I'm, I'm, yeah, I do that a lot. Like, I see things and I try to analyze it, you know. But yeah, I think we have another video of this lady. The next one. Yeah, let's see it. Hi guys, come watch me train back, even though I know you'll be watching my fat ass because that's how I've set the camera up. <laughs> please pause, 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 pause. Shout out, shout out all my ladies that do the workout posts on IG. I love, okay, I know I know them. So I know the ones I love. I, see, Nancy Silva is the GOAT, G-O-A-T, greatest of all time fitness posting celebrity because her Ikebe is, whew, And she's tall, you know. You know I'm tall, so like I just imagine, I just picture like when she's doing those squats and the squatting is squatting and the backside is protruding. You know, no need to get too graphic. Sorry, YouTube. I hope I'm not getting too graphic. But um, the I the IG fitness posts are a great motivator. I think. See, so yeah, if you're going to the gym, you have an ulterior motive. Nobody's going to the gym just to work out. Because you can do home workouts and you'll be good. So you get me? If you're going to the gym, you're going to the gym because you want to network or you want to socialize or maybe seeing other people working out motivates you to work out more, gives you ginger. Do you understand? Maybe seeing somebody lifting four plates will give you ginger to lift two plates. So you get me? Or, or, or more or, or five or six plates, you know? Probably don't lift five plates, okay? So that, that means three on one side, two on one side. It's be, it won't be balanced. One chest will be bigger than one chest. It's be like, it will be abnormal. So always try to balance. <laughs> I, I feel like I don't have to say this, but I also feel like I have to, you know? Um, but yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so she's talking about these girls that use workout, that use gym as a thirst trap uh, opportunity. And I'm always trapped. And Instagram already knows me. Because whenever I open my Instagram, the first person that show me is a lady or something about music. But most, most of the time, it's some girl looking sexy. And then I'll forget what I came to Instagram to do. Next thing, 40 minutes later, I'm on like the seventh girl's uh, page. That seventh girl, I saw her from the sixth girl's story. And that sixth girl, I saw her from the fifth girl's post. And that fifth girl's post, I saw her from the, the fourth girl's tagged photos. So I go... <laughs> Yo... Instagram just finds out what you love and they give it to you. So you spend your data on them, you know? But it's beautiful, it's beautiful. Let's, let's see what this beautiful lady is talking about. Watch you train back, even though I know you'll be watching my fat ass because that's how I've set the camera up. Damn. I start with a pull down and unnecessarily poke my ass out before I sit. And then I move to a bent over row where I place the camera directly behind me for you to see that. Fat. Whoa! After I do we'll an exercise like sideways, because <laughs> even continue, though it's not a part of back day, it's a good angle for my ass. And then we come to the end of the video where I will stand with my ass in the camera and pretend that that was a really hard workout. I'll then do a peace sign and walk off. See you next time. Ah, uh, she don't she don't master them. She don't master them. She don't master them. I bet let's see the next one. She don't master them. As in for sure. Come get ready with me to go to the gym. Even though I know you don't Ah, uh, this one Natasha. Because the main <laughs> false, 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 false. <laughs> Wait, go back to that first frame. <laughs> I feel like like Tasha has that same underwear. <laughs> I've seen Tasha dress up like a lot of times for someone that's never seen Tasha. And I'm not complaining one bit. She's probably one of my, she is, not probably, she's one of my celebrity celebrity crushes. Definitely, hands down. Ha, huh, Nengi? Yeah, now that I have this platform, let me even talk about. No, no, no. <laughs> but yeah, 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 let me name my top three celebrity Nigerian crushes, okay? So we have Tacha, you have Nengi, and you have, um, I don't want to leave out anyone. Ah. I think Diane Ross said. They're all big brother people. <laughs> wow. Um, is it Diane Ross? Yeah, it's Diane Ross. I was gonna say Ira Star, but she's like, yeah, Diane Ross. Shout out to Ira Star too. Like, she, you know, shout out top four. Yeah. Champions League please. She still made the Champions League. Shout out. Shout out everybody. <laughs> so that's Tasha, Nangi, Diane Ross, and Ira Star. In no particular order, it's not, you know. <laughs> Alright, but let's 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 watch this tattooed lady. Wait, pause, 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 pause. This is an American room. This is probably a hotel too. This one looks like a hotel, right? But yeah, let's play. And she sounds British. 
Come get ready with me to go to the gym. She's definitely Even British. though I know you don't care what I wear because the main focal point is my ass in the camera in order to get the likes and comments my ego needs. And I can keep pretending that this is a fitness related video and it'll inspire ah, others. She's, the way she's cleaning her face so dramatically. The main focal she's point is my like ass in the camera in order to dudes. get the likes and comments my ego needs. And I can keep pretending that this is a fitness related video and it'll inspire others. They just poke out their back others. and cleaning their face. I specifically like, wear these outfits That's not how you do it if the camera the wasn't there. That my ass is bigger than it actually is. And I will purposely take off my top in front of the camera because even though I don't want it only fans, I still want the attention. I'll then wear a big baggy t-shirt <laughs> because I want to pretend that I'm not an attention seeker. But I'll purposely tuck the back of the shirt I, into my bra so it this. doesn't hide my big fat ass. Happy lifting, everybody. <laughs> Have a lovely day. Bye. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, people are catching strays, so I didn't mean it like this. So I didn't <laughs> A lot of IG babes are catching strays, man. But it's it's love strays. It's strays from Cupid, okay? It's not strays of shade. It's strays of, from, of love, okay? Yeah. We good with them words, you know? <laughs> oh, my God. She's definitely British, and she definitely lives in the west or south coast of America. Um, as we live in Nigeria, we are naturally tanned. What I go? See, tanned now. Uh, tan, we tan, natural tan, natural tan, natural tan. You see, as the most populated black nation in the world, it has to be hot. That's just the way it is. That's the law. As the place that has the most black people, it cannot be snowing. You know what I'm Imagine if it snowed in Nigeria, people would probably have heart attack. Oh my God, village people. <laughs> Let's see the next video. I think it's this lady again, right? Sparky. Sparky, Sparky. Hey, what's that uh, Santi song? Do you know that Santi song, Sparky? Don't say it's Sparky. Somebody that's watching will know it. Santi featured, I think, a bunch of, like, two people. Uh -huh. I want to talk about number? playing hard to get, not safe for females. I've never understood hey. this, and I have also never played this game. It literally leads you to nowhere. If you start a relationship or whatever from playing games, it's going to end with a loser, and a winner. Being hard to get and being like, oh, I'm not going to text him. Just pause, 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 pause. See, I like this girl. I like this lady. Okay, I, I feel like she's a bit older that I shouldn't call her a girl, but she's still young enough to, you know. <clears throat> okay, focus, Ray. Focus, focus. <sighs> Breathing through your stomach, not your chest. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Okay. See, yeah. girls that play games. You see, the ladies that play games, you know, hard to get. You know you want this action. You know you want in on this. But you're still playing games. You're doing hard to get for no reason. Those ladies, eh, I don't understand. I just don't understand. I think it's trauma that's PTSD. They're going through PTSD that they don't know how to react when somebody's interested in them for real. It got to be, man. It got to be. It got to be. How can, how can, how can, I'm sure, play this thing, let me, before I talk too much. Text him until he texts me, or I'm going to leave it. Yeah, pause, pause, sorry, I'm so sorry, I'm so sorry. That text thing, she just talks about it. She was like, hey, I won't text him until he texts me. And sometimes even when you text them, they'll be like, oh, yeah, I'll wait a certain amount of time before I reply. Like, are you, ah, not so, don't be so. I don't want to marry somebody that will be doing guy and, ah. Okay, he's been good. Let me let me do this. Ah, no. It's... Keep it real. No fugazi. That's the most attractive thing in the world is like a lady that is real. That is not into all that. Ah, I've seen the message, but let me act like I haven't seen it. Like, what? What do you gain? Oh, so I'll look more exclusive. Like, girl, exclusive. If I want exclusive, I'll go to the supermarket. What? I don't understand. I'm gonna play this beautiful lady. Could you start it from the top, please? Because she's preaching right now. She's I'm preaching. I want to talk about playing hard to get, not safe for females. I've never understood this. And I have also never played this game. It literally leads you to nowhere. Do you start you a relationship? I know I'm pausing too much. I'm sorry, but I got to do this. She, even, she's This lady is smart because see what she's wearing. It keeps your attention. If you, if you are going to scroll up before, you see her wearing this. It will keep your attention, but it will get your attention. But what she's saying will keep your attention. That's what I'm trying to say, okay? So that's like a girl gets in a BBL. If a girl gets a BBL and she's smart, 
that she has a good personality. When the BBL gets your attention, you come to her, and then you talk to her, you get to know her, you find out that she's actually a great person, then she keeps your attention. But if she gets a BBL and she doesn't have anything upstairs and she has a bad character, bad attitude, the BBL will get your attention, but she will annoy you so much that you she won't keep your attention, you know? But this lady wore something sexy, and you see it the first time, you can't scroll up. What's she talking about? It got your attention like that. And she's talking sense. She's preaching. Okay, she's preach, girl. Preach, British American girl. Could you start it from the top, please? I want to talk about playing hard to get, not safe for females. Oh, I've never understood this, and I have so also never played this game. It I literally see leads you to know you start the a Arsenal. relationship or whatever from playing games. It's going to end with a loser and a winner. Playing hard to get and being like, oh, I'm not going to text him until he texts me, or I'm going to leave it. 15 fucking hours to reply. If I am into you, you are going to know about it because I will not stop trying to talk to you. Do you Seriously, literally have to say, bitch, can you leave me alone? I yes. don't understand the psychology when it comes to playing games. You either like someone or you don't. So what's the point of trying to pussyfoot and beat around the bush? You're literally thinking in your head, hmm, I'm gonna wait it for about, you know, yeah. a couple of hours before I reply to her. I will yeah. lose interest, bro. I will yeah, lose interest. Yeah, that for a second. actually very Because for the way I'm talking, for from the way I'm talking, you guys can tell that like I've, I've, I have personal experience with this. Okay, I've, I've experienced a girl not like, like, come on now. You know you're interested because when I go to talk to another girl and she posts about it on her story and you see it on her story, you start like becoming more flirty towards me. It's like, oh, you, when I, we, like, come on, girl. You can't be playing hard to get and when I try to go get another girl, you start getting in your feelings. Okay, that's just weird. That's why I say it's PTSD. Because me, I even have things I do because of PTSD. Post-traumatic disorder. Every human being in Nigeria has PTSD. Because this country will traumatize you in some way or fashion. Even if you have billions. I, mean, I bet you, there's a lady in the other episode that was throwing dollars. I bet you that lady, with all her money, Nigeria has still traumatized her. Nigeria has no send anybody, Papa. <laughs> in one way or the other. Do you understand? So, yeah. Um... Yeah, I don't want you playing hard to get. Then I'm like, oh, she's not into me. Let me go get another girl. And then you get in your feelings. Like, come on. It makes no sense. Like she said, I don't understand the psychology psychology behind it. I say psychology. <laughs> psychology. <laughs> psychology. I don't understand the psychology behind it on some real stuff. For real, though. You know, shout out to this lady, man. She's cute. She fine. And she's smart. Like... She must have been through some real stuff in her life because she's real. Like I said, like the most attractive thing in a woman is her being real. Like if a woman is real, you can have real conversations with her. Then you can be friends. And it's friendship that will make your relationship go forever. Because if you just marry because of Nyash, when she gets old and the Nyash gets, drops to the floor, the love will drop to the floor. But if you're friends with this person, you're, 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 you're not just intimate with her physical, with her physical being, you're intimate with her her intellect, you know? You're intimate with, like, your thoughts together, like, uh, they match. You are compatible, that's the word. You know, when you're compatible, not just sexually compatible, but emotionally and mentally and intellectually compatible as well, you know? If I was a white dude living in LA or something, where this lady was, I'd get her, for real, though. If she's not a lesbian already, but, like, even some lesbians, some guys will convince them to come out of lesbianism. What am I talking about? What am I talking? I take, hey, I'm in support of everybody's rights, YouTube, and everybody. <laughs> Could you play this lady, please? <laughs> the psychology when it comes to playing games. You either like someone or you don't. So what's the point in trying to pussyfoot oh and beat God. around the bush? You're literally thinking, you're yes. like, hmm, I'm going to wait it for about, you know, a couple of hours before I reply to her. I will yes. lose interest, bro. Yo, I will lose interest. Down, please. Please. Preach. 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 Yo, it's interesting when it's... Because, like, I feel like if you're into me, then I'm into you. But if I'm into you and you're into me, but you're trying to act like you're not into me, so you'll be cool. Like, I, then that's just dumb. <laughs> Do you get me? Like, on some real stuff, though. Like, I'm, I'm trying to be real here. Okay, I'm being honest. Like, if I send a girl a message and she replies in, within a minute or two, oh, I'm bricked up. I said, I, like, like, bricked up. 
Okay? If people don't know what bricked up means, Google it. If a girl that I like replies me immediately, Brick City. It's Brick Town. It's Brick County. Okay? Google it. Bricked up. So it's attractive when you reply and you show interest in the person that you're interested in. It's like wanting money, but not going for money. It's like wanting love, but not going for love. It's like wanting happiness, but not going for happiness. It doesn't make sense. It's like wanting water, you're thirsty. Like, now I'm thirsty. I'm not going for the water. Eh? See, eh? Next season, eh? We need a sponsor. Ever got free sp- uh, uh, endorsement today. Because that's what I bought from the supermarket. My neighborhood supermarket. Okay? But I need a sponsor for this show. I don't need one, but I want one. If you want me to drink your drink on this show, <laughs> let me know. All right. Uh, this lady, I like this lady a lot, man. Yo. I like her a lot. I don't understand the pastor. psychology when it comes to playing games. You either like someone or you don't. So what's the point in trying to pussyfoot and beat around the bush? If you're literally thinking in your head, hmm, I'm going to wait it for about, you know, a couple of hours before I reply to her. I will lose interest, bro. I will lose interest. I think it's actually very attractive when someone replies instantly. From me to you, yeah. if you like someone and you're interested, don't play a fucking game. To be direct with them. Are you interested uh, or are you not? Huh? She if you sounds are Russian, I mean, yeah. business elsewhere, are you okay? interested or are you not interested? If you're not interested, I go this way. <laughs> Shout out to this lady, man. Is she the next one? Ladies, uh, you ladies are so complicated, and that's why we love you. Honestly, we, I don't even need a lady to change. Just be yourself. If we're compatible, I'll love you for life. And that's all my life. No cap. Do you get me? But you girls, you ladies are complicated. My mom is complicated. My sisters are complicated. My exes are complicated. I've been single trying to focus on my career, but like, Yo, there's so many beautiful distractions in these Lagos streets, on these Instagram streets, on these Facebook streets, on these Threads streets, on these Twitter streets or X streets, Abby. There's so many distractions. There's so many beautiful distractions. It's like, yo. It's almost impossible to say that you go a whole year without being intimate with a lady because you you lose God. It's because to a point that you have to lose God. Eh? You step out of your house, beautiful ladies everywhere. I just went to buy small chops for our guys here before this, we started this show. And there are so many beautiful ladies everywhere. Confusing me. You go enter streets where you don't want to enter because something entered there. We're fine. You know? So I'm just saying, right? I love you girls, but you girls are complicated. You know? But I'm not even asking the girls to change. Be you. Express yourself. If you want to rub your face and clean your face as you're poking out your behind. Do that and put it on Instagram. Okay, cool. You know? Shout out to Tatcha, man. I really like Tatcha. Like, you know, I, lo- I love those uh, Get Ready With Me videos. Oh, my God. I don't even listen to what she's saying. I just look. I don't even on mute. I leave it on mute. And, and her voice is cute and great. I like it. But I leave it on mute and just focus on the body. Okay, <laughs> let's hear what. Oh, is this? Oh, this is Maya Khalifa. I don't know who she is. I've never heard her name in my life. I've never seen her a day in my life. I wonder if she is uh, who she is. And I'm, I'm not lying. I'm not lying. People say that when I close my eyes and I talk, I'm lying. But that's not true. I do not know who Maya Khalifa is. And I've never heard that name in my life. Could you play this video, please? Let's see what this is about. Facts. Married at 18, divorced at 20. What? You got married at 18, of course you're going to get divorced at 20. Because normally when you date somebody when you're 18, the relationship lasts two years. So do you, your own shack you so tell you go marry. <laughs> Imagine if I married my secondary school girlfriend. Mostly go beat me. <laughs> what kind of, why wouldn't you divorce by 20 when you're married by 18? You don't even know what you want. You don't even know what you like. You don't even know yourself. Yes, you go marry. So by the time you when I turn 20, uh, the guys still they talk love, you they talk money. 
the guy still talk uh, about it. I have to go to uni. Well, while uh, I, Mr. Man here that has a company that's 35 years old, as you, when you're 20, is offering you millions to be his girlfriend. Why would I not go divorce? I better start this video from the top. Let's see what this Maya Khalifa that I've never heard about is talking about. Comparing stats, baby girl doesn't know that I am Tom Brady at this game. Madu. Married at 18, divorced at 21. Second marriage, married at 25, divorced at 28. Third engagement, engaged at 29, ended it at 30, but I kept the ring. I'm still keeping Tom Brady on his toes. We should not be afraid to leave these men. What? We are not stuck Wait, pause, with these pause, 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 pause. That is just, that's like, that's foul. That's foul. You look at, you, have, you look at, you look at for now. You can see it and now you look at on street red. Because we see you talk now and you look at foul. Which one is that you cannot be scared to leave this man? Like, how can we be preaching divorce? So that's what we do now. We're preaching divorce. That's what we're doing. That's where we are. Divorce. We're preaching it. Like, oh yeah, you shouldn't be afraid to leave this man. I've been engaged three times, married twice. And it's like, I'm Tom Brady. Like, you're, you're, it's a bragging right that you, 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 you're a failure in marriage. When, since when did failure become so celebrated? I don't understand. Well, this is not Nigeria, though. That's why. That's not Nigeria. That's not Nigeria. Because that doesn't make sense. Could you finish this thing this woman is talking about? To leave these men. We are not stuck with these people. Marriage is not a sanctimonious thing. It is, wow. it is paperwork. paperwork. It's something, it's, it's, it's a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you got to go. You, pause, you gotta... pause, pause, please. Pause. <clears throat> okay. So what happens to be to, for better or worse? Uh, that's what you swore an oath to or whatever, a vow in the church, okay? For better or for worse. You said if you're not getting anything, like it's a business transaction. What do you mean if you're not getting anything? So you're, you got married to money now because of money or because of something you're getting in terms of financial. Because what are you talking about? That makes zero sense what she just said. She just took a whole dump on after eating a goosey soup and milk and, and egg and, and beans. She, she just removed her identity and took a huge dump on marriage. I cannot stand for it. Who is Maya Khalifa? Let me Google her name, sir. Because you know, I have never heard that name before. And I do not know of her work. <laughs> Let me Google that name. <clears throat> okay, so Maya Khalifa. Let me go to images to see if it's this. Whoa, okay. Great acting. <laughs> like, I don't know. How. Okay, let's hear. Like, could you take it back a little bit? Let's hear what this woman is talking about. How can she be talking about this? Like, we this, are not stuck with, no with these people. Marriage is not. A sanctimonious thing. It is. It is paperwork. It's something. It's. It's. It's a commitment you make to someone. But if you feel like you're not getting anything from that commitment and you're trying, you gotta go. You gotta go. You have to go. I know wow, it's difficult it's just paperwork to fill out paperwork and to She's make appointments and to do all of these things. The but smile. this is your fucking life. Do you no. want to be stuck with someone? Nobody wants to be stuck. No, nobody, nobody, be stuck nobody, stuck nobody wants to be stuck with anybody. Okay, but like you are the one that picked that somebody, and you aren't eighteen. At the second time she said she got married, and the third time she got engaged, you were older, so you know yourself better. You know your likes and dislikes better. You know your do's and don'ts better. You know your pros and cons better. So why are you still? That makes zero sense to me, man. That makes zero sense. I gotta be honest with you. I just, I just gotta. Hey, listen. I don't know. Maybe I'm getting old at thirty-two. You know, maybe I'm getting old and maybe the world is just changing. And divorce is now celebrated. And maybe, maybe, but I doubt it. This is one person's opinion. This is one person's perspective. This is a skewed perspective. And you know when I say, okay, you see how she has a lack of respect for marriage? I bet that her parents' marriage wasn't perfect. Or not, nobody's marriage is perfect, but I bet her parents' marriage wasn't ideal or the effect of her par parents' marriage on her life wasn't ideal because that's the only reason. That's the main reason she would have this kind of attitude towards marriage. It doesn't make sense. 
you know. But women, we love them. And from what I just saw in two seconds of researching her, you know, I mean, it's like she does astute work. Wait, let me even, let me even, Maya Khalifa, let me go to videos and see. Safe search is off. Let me put it off. Hmm. Oh, interesting. Mad. I will be bookmarking some work here. <laughs> okay, let's go to the next video. <laughs> oh my god. That's a beautiful woman. That's a beautiful woman. Uh, oh! You see that? You see that thing I'm talking about? Angles. Women and angles. Angles are important. You see that angle I'm talking about? Once she moves an inch to the right or left, everything changes. She looks beautiful here, even though she's keeping her eyes really wide open for whatever reason. And that looks weird. Like she's staring into my soul and she's a demon, but she's not. But she looks like one because her eyes are so open right there. But she looks beautiful here. She looks like, like she's like some... Premier League footballer's girlfriend or something. You know, like a model or something. But then, that does not look like the first image we saw. And she knows that. That's why she didn't take the picture from the side view, the side angle. She took it from that perfect angle to the right a little bit. You know, not all the way. Just a little bit to the right. Oh, yeah. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Hold it. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> but once you see the real, see her ear. Her ear is kind of... I'm she's cute. She's 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 cute. You know. I mean, the first image I saw was beautiful, but this image is is, is cute. It's cute. It's, I mean, it's still it's still fine. This image is still fine. It's, it's, not, it's not ugly. It's still fine. But that first image I saw, mm, it's like a whole different person. Honest. Could you play from the beginning of this one, please? Look at that! Look at that! Okay. I'm, in my opinion, the first image is exquisite, beautiful. The second image is 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 is, is, ex, ex, is beautiful as well. You know, it is what it is, man. Okay. <laughs> this next video, just play it. Let's see. Why is she crying? Oh. <laughs> Will you play it again? Play it again? Play it again? What is that? That's how they collect uh, money from their boyfriends, so they will call and be crying or something. Oh my God! Did you pause that? Why do I feel like a lot of women do that? Like they know that they are emotionally, they have an emotional hold over us. You know, women have an emotional hold over us. Now. Okay, they know if they cry, we feel bad. If they hurt themselves, we feel bad. Like sometimes they punish us by saying they'll punish themselves. Like she, if she called her boyfriend and she did that, the guy will send all his bank accounts to her, <laughs> and then she'll do this thing after she cuts the phone. <laughs> all right, bro. Hey guys, I'm about to freestyle. Listen, my freestyle is free, even though it's not free because it has to use data to watch it. You know what I'm saying? But the thing is that. Uh, when I make music, I freestyle the melody and then I write the lyrics. But this time, I'm going to freestyle the lyrics and the melody. All right? Jide, you with me? 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 Jide is with me. Ola Jide in the house. Sparky in the house. We got Sage in the house. We got Mo in the house. You know, we got a crew in the house. It's giddy. Turn it up a little bit, just a little bit. Turn it up even more, let's pray. Yeah, oh, it's good, it's good, it's good, it's good. It's good. It's so good. Baby girl, so fine. So cute. So good. So good. But it's so big. Oh, make me say, oh. Baby girl, you are fine. And you know this. And I know that you know this. You know this. You are not a novice. You know this. You are not a novice. 
Baby girl so cute and I know that she won't come roll with me tonight Baby girl so cute and I know she won't come roll with me tonight Baby girl so cute and I know she won't come roll with me tonight It's a freestyle I'm in Cairo You know, you know Are you why? Yeah, Modia, that's my name. If you didn't know, now you know. Now you know. Now you know. Buzz break like you step out in Lagos and you see snow. Flow buzz break all day, all night, all day, all night. I space it right. I just freestyle, I do not write this time. Do you feel this run? Baby girl, go on. Hold on low, I want baby girl so cute <laughs> I want a girl with a big bumper Big booty Big bumper Big, big booty, baby Two, 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 two day Two, 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 two day Ike be, Idi Ike Three names for the same thing Ike be, Idi Ike Three names for the same thing, yash. And I want sweet pass. After I intimated with her, I passed to my guy. I passed. <laughs> that's it, that's it, that's it. I'm styling for you guys, man. Hey, yo, DJ, cut it. Hey, guys, that was not my best freestyle, but I'm still going, I guess. Oh, it's the end. <laughs> okay, that was not my best freestyle, but hey, it's a freestyle and I'm just cruising and just jonesing, you know what it is. Hey, raise on it, Sha. This one is a rap. See you next time, baby. Yeah.